Welcome to the International Theosophical Center in Naarden, the European home of the TS. Let us first tell you something about the history of the center, then about activities taking place here. Mrs. Mary van Egen donated the center in 1925 to Annie Besant as international president of the TS for the service of the masters. Annie Besant accepted this offer in their name. Naarden then became one of the three international centers of the TS. It is interesting that it was founded in the same period as the center Crotona, USA, and the Manor, Australia. Bishop Wedgwood became the first head of the center. At that time, a place in Europe was needed to train young people in ceremonial work. The donation, therefore, was very welcome. Clairvoyants noticed an increased presence of angels at the center. This could have been one of the effects of the private chapel that Mrs. Mary built there. Soon the chapel was extended and in 1928 a large building was ready. The Liberal Catholic Church, LCC, was the main activity at the center at that time. Quite remarkably, the church was struck by lightning only 11 days after its consecration. It burned down completely. The LCC continued its services in the Masonic Temple, which was built at the same time. This became the first Besant Hall. Then the Annie Besant Lodge was founded. A Montessori school, a lodge of co-masonry and a section of Krishnamurti's Order of the Star, a healing group, the Order of the Round Table, were also active there. Rukmini Arendale became the head in 1935 until her death in 1986. A Garden of Remembrance was created on the location of the former church where some of the ashes of Annie Besant were placed in 1938. At present, there is a broad range of different spiritual activities, making the center very vibrant, both theosophical and otherwise, which work in harmony with our mission statement. The mission statement of the ITC describes the reason why it exists and states to serve humanity as a spiritual study and retreat center, inviting people to work on the process of inner transformation. The ITC feels very privileged that the International General Council of the TS decided to organize meetings at ITC. For many TS officers, the ITC is a central location easy to reach. International seminars and retreats are organized in close cooperation with the Dutch section. The seminars are also a good opportunity for TS members in Europe to meet each other. The ITC now is a lively center where many different groups gather to organize their activities ranging from yoga and meditation to conferences on various spiritual subjects. The conference hall at Besant Hall caters for 120 persons. We have several other buildings suitable for smaller groups and also at St. Michael's House we've held meditation courses and beginners courses on theosophy in the past few years. This year the Lodge has started an introductory course in the Secret Doctrine which should prepare participants for self-study. For over 20 years, the Buddhist retreat organization Sangha Metta has its short and long-term retreats at the ITC. Participants of Sangha Metta and other Buddhist groups enjoy the beauty of the estate also during their walking meditations. What is unique about the ITC? Since 1925, a wide range of 
uplifting activities has largely contributed to the uniqueness and special atmosphere of the center. This center and reality, a portal, provides a focus on the finer energies which greatly contributes to its sense of wholeness and sacredness. All participants and visitors, when receptive in quietness and openness, can thus be greatly helped and inspired. Hence the unique role of ITC Nyaden.